I feel like somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around. Where do you think you're going? You know where. M Oskol. What good is it going to do to- I don't need your permission! Uh. Hmm. hmm? Yeah! <sighs> How's this? Huh? Sorry for the side trip. We got to learn a new dish. I'll take what I can get, really. Let's cook it next time we make camp. Is that why she went along with this? soldiers stationed at the garrison than usual. They must have gotten deployed to Mosgul. Doc, Cole, everyone please be safe. An opponent like this should be easy. I never miss! You're mine! Here I go! This is it! Barely a blip on our radar. What's this thing? Go 
dispose of the You're finished! Nice. An instant! Here I come! You're finished! None we shall escape my judgment! Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. What's this thing? Radar. Looks like this place opens out into the ocean. The water is so much cleaner than what's on the surface. I even see fish swimming around. Yeah, and boy, do they look delicious. What? N never mind. Right behind you, Shion. Hey, 
hang in there. Hey! Damn it! I'm too late. Stop! Please, don't hurt the children. What's that? Damn it, I can't reach them in time! Get back, Cole! Duck! Cole! Stop! Not if I can help it! Yeah. Take mine. this! It's over! Go on! Go on! Take this! Same as Frank! Take this! Go on! It's over! Take this! Damn it! Same as Frank! Here I come! It's over! You're on! Take this! You're mine! Here I come! Help me! I'm done! Are you all right? What about the others? Are those bastards still here? Iron Mask, take it easy. It's all right now. <laughs> Most were able to escape. And we've survived. Honestly, we got off lucky. It's often worse when a resistance group pops up. Lucky? Do you call people getting slaughtered like this lucky? This is how things go when you're a Danon slave. You're dead if you stand up to them. Keep your head down and do as you're told. You only have one life. That's why... I should wait for the right moment? Yes. So someone else dies instead while we live another day. Is that what you're saying, Doc? You're willing to risk everything on the chance that things will get better if we wait long enough. But what's the point of waiting if others have to die so that we can live? What do you think happens when someone tries to resist? It'd be one thing if the rebel died and that was that. But it never ends with only one death. You've seen it for yourself. Everyone suffers for it. Knowing that, are you really going to tell me our waiting has no meaning? But that's... I understand not wanting to throw away the same lives we're trying to protect. That would be senseless. But if you wait too long, if you get too used to waiting, then eventually you lose the will to fight. I don't want that to happen to me. I've already met the Crimson Crows. People who risk their lives to fight the Renan's rule. People who know they might not live to see us win, but fight anyway to give those who come after a better chance. If my life is at risk either way, then I'd rather spend it fighting. So you've decided to take up the sword? Yes, but not just any sword. It's a sword that only I can wield, but one that's also too powerful to use on my own. I doubt those who fought the Renans in the past ever had something like this on their side. That's why I'm willing to bet everything I have on this sword. I know it might mean more people end up in danger, but... Okay. If that's how you feel, then forget what I said. It's clear your time has come, Iron Mask. Currently, you and that sword are the only things capable of driving the Renans back. It's because of you that we're still alive right now. If there's a way through this for all of us, then I'll put my trust in you to find it. Doc, thank you. Now, remember what you said, and don't ever abandon that conviction of yours, all right? Right. I won't. You've grown so much since we first met. And you've met some good people, too. Maybe you have a chance after all.
You're back. Hurry on in. We've been waiting for you. You're not gonna ask what happened? I can tell enough by the way you look right now. I see. Zephyr, I need to ask you something. Would you have invited me to join you, even if I didn't have the Blazing Sword? Of course. Why, though? There are many folks out there who are crazy enough to resist the Renans like we do. So when I find someone with the knack for it, I make sure to keep them close. Plus, you remind me of another guy we lost. Maybe deep down, I'm trying to help you as a way of making amends for what I couldn't do for him. But if you don't want this, just say the word. I'm not going anywhere. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't even be here. If you say so. All right, come on in. Thanks. Yes! What's wrong? Got it. We've reached our destination. All right, everyone. It's time. Remember, eyes on the prize. We're after Balsef, nothing else. Cut off the head, and the snake perishes. Hit them head on, however, and we won't make it through the castle gates, but alone reach Balsef himself. Luckily, we have an ace up our sleeve. We need to do everything in our power to make sure that ace reaches Balsef's jugular. To that end, I'll be splitting us up into separate forces. You just said all of us hitting them head-on would be useless. Why would we divide ourselves up? Because we're the decoys. We'll buy our ace in the hole the time they need to get in. We only need to cause enough of a ruckus around the castle to distract the enemy. That said, we need to look like the real deal, which is why I'll be tagging along too. You too, Zephyr? So who's going to take on Balsef? The Iron Mask. I'm counting on you and Xion to make your way to wherever Balsef's hiding. Once there, you drive that flaming sword right through him. You aren't seriously sending in just those two, are you? One of them's a Renan. No one said the plan was perfect. By far, the biggest danger is the one you two will be facing. The fate of this quest rests entirely in your hands, which is why you get the final say. You want out, now's the time to say so. And if we say no? Then you say no. Just means we're back to square one, that's all. And I go back to being a slave. It's your life. No, it isn't. Ball's in your court, soldier. What do you say? I... I want to fight. But for what? What are you fighting for? To free the Danans from the yoke of their abusive oppressors. To no longer die at the whim of another. To break the shackles of our enslavers. To live and taste freedom! Now you're talking. I believe we have our ace in the hole, people. Hold on to that belief, and we just might break through that wall yet. And what about you? I was born ready. Now can we get this show on the road? <laughs> There's a gate on your right once you leave here. Go through it and ride the elevator you'll find. I'll send ahead a few friendly faces to keep watch on your way. If you get into any trouble, look to them for support. We all clear? Good. May this battle herald the end of the Renan's bloody three-century reign.
To your battle stations, everyone. Skeptical. Right. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. All right. <sighs> Got it. <laughs> hmm? Thanks. Good, good. Is this something you're into? Yeah. <sighs> I still can't believe this is happening. We're really about to face off against a Renan Lord. Well, you're in pretty high spirits for a guy going into a life and death battle. I'm not saying I'm not worried, but you have to remember, this is the first time any of us Danans have really had any hope. What about you? Are you scared at all? I don't have time to be scared. This is only the first step in a long, long plan of mine. You want to take down all five lords, right? It's hard to believe it'll ever happen. But it will. I know. I haven't forgotten our deal. See that you don't. That said, if we lose, we might suffer a fate worse than death, you know. That's probably true. But instead of worrying about it, wouldn't it be a better use of our time to figure out ways to avoid that and not lose? I suppose. Whatever happens, I'll put everything I have into winning. You can count on that. All done. Come and... Balsaf's castle should be just above us. All right. And let's use that elevator thing.
Zephyr and the Crimson Crows are supposed to be distracting the Renans from the front. Then let's go around and sneak in elsewhere. see them up close. We can't say this place is truly liberated until we do something about them. What are you muttering about? Stay focused. We still have to take down Balsa. idea of a bridge? Looks like it. Don't fall, Earth. This will be a pretty short story. You should take the Blazing Sword. Are you sure? Yeah. We don't know what might happen up ahead. It's better to have it and be ready, than to be caught in a fight without it. the liberty of cutting the flow of energy from the Master Core. I may be giving you the sword, but you still need me to unleash its power. Try not to forget that. We don't hurry up and find him. You're too close. Try to stay farther apart. Oh, right. Sorry about that. <sighs> Was I really that close? I guess I'm just not used to standing right next to people. <sighs> you mean because of your thorns? <sighs> You're a surprisingly nice person. What? You don't think so? I mean, you just made sure your thorns wouldn't... You can keep your opinions to yourself. You don't know the first thing about me. I'm not saying I know everything about you. Sheesh. No need to bite my head off. 
You just can't take a hint, can you? What? <sighs> I'm sorry. You're right. I don't know what sorts of hardships you've been through. After all, what could I possibly know about pain? I know you didn't mean anything bad by what you said. The throne room is up on the next floor. That's probably where we'll find Balsef. <sighs> hey. What? If there's something you want to say, just come out and say it. Huh? I hate when I feel like people are laughing at me on the inside. Especially someone like you where I can't read your expression. What? Why would I laugh at you? What are you talking about? My outfit. As soon as you saw me in those ruins, you wanted to say something, didn't you? Oh, it's not that. It's just... Just what? N nothing You're a truly awful person. You know that? An awful... Hey, you're the one jumping to conclusions about what I think. You're not one to talk. Then prove me wrong and tell me what you were really thinking. It wasn't anything mean about you, I promise. I don't believe that for a second. And it doesn't matter what the hell I tell you. You'll always doubt me. 